Welcome to My Opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. This morning we have a few issues we want to talk about. But first up, we want to look at the incident where dancehall artist Tommy Lee Sparta pleaded guilty on Wednesday to illegal possession of firearm and ammunition and was sentenced to three years in prison. The artist appeared before High Court Division of the Gun Court and was represented by Queen's Counsel Tom Tavares Finson and Donna U. Martin. He received a three year suspend he re received a three year sentence for illegal possession of firearm and two years sentence on ammunition charges. The sentences will run concurrently. The sentencing guidelines for illegal possession of firearms charges typically run between 10 to 15 years. However, a number of mitigating factors worked in Tommy Lee's party's favor. Now they are saying the mitigating factors were that he pleaded guilty on the first relevant court date he had and he had already served three months for the offense and he had no previous convictions. That's what his attorney said. The plea bargaining which has led to a number of reduced sentencing for non-capital offenses is facilitated under the, the Criminal Justice Administration Amendment Act and the Indictment Act, which sought to reduce the backlog of cases in the court. Now, we can all remember Tommy Lee, his right name is Leroy Russell, has been in custody after he was arrested on December 14, 2020, by members of the JCA Specialized Operation Unit after a Tom Toyota Mark X motor car which he was traveling was intercepted on Holborn Road in St. Andrew. Russell was searched and a 9mm pistol containing 18 rounds of ammunition was found in his waistband. And just to talk a little bit about this incident, Tommy Lee has been on the police radar for quite some time. He has been in and out of jail for a, for a good while now. Every now and again, there's a flare-up in violence in Montego Bay. The Sparta gang, which they link Tommy Lee to, Tommy Lee's always been held and bringing hand questioning, but nothing really to ping him, pin onto him. However, this time the cops held him with an illegal firearm and a lot of persons are now questioning why we are at a stage where persons like this who have constant runnings with the law after being held with a firearm because he pleaded guilty on the first attempt only get three years. Is, does these type of sentences create a deterrent for these persons to stop their illegal activities? based on what we are hearing on the streets and based on what we are seeing, clearly not. Some persons do change after committing crimes, but some persons, three years is not a deterrent. And a message must be sent to these persons held with firearms. Jamaica has a crime problem, and a part of solving that crime problem, we have to put laws in place that will deter persons from getting involved in criminal activities. And one thing that is very, very essential to me is I think some of these persons who are very influential in terms of the mic that they use should be penalized heavily because they are a source of influence to youths around them. And when you have persons like this who has a good following, a good backing from the dancehall community, he should have known what his actions would have caused and he should have known that he's looked up to as a person of influence. And being caught into this situation is very un uncomfortable and it sends a wrong message to the youngsters who are supporters of Tommy Lee. But for a lot of persons who are against the three-year sentence, they are really saying because this man was on the police radar more than once he has been taken in. Three years sentence is really a slap on the wrist. And now to make even matters worse, we can see a lot of entertainers these days are getting caught up in criminal activities and a lot of them have found themselves on the wrong side of the law, right? Because right now in prison, we have Vibes Cartel, we have Ninja Man, we have Aladdin, and 
right now we have another entertainer as I as I talk. I'll tell you more about his situation. Ritical, he was granted one million dollar bail to go on trial in April. So another entertainer lining up himself to be a part of the prison system. And he was also found with an illegal firearm. So clearly a message must be sent to these entertainers for having a part to play in the upsurging violence and their criminal activities. Now, as it relates to Ritical, dancehall artist Ryan McFarlane, more popularly known as Ritical, was yesterday offered $1 million bail when he appeared in the gun court on illegal possession of firearm. As part of his bail, the 25-year-old entertainer was ordered to report to the Bull Bay Police Station on Wednesday, Saturdays, and abide by a 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. curfew order. And we know what's taking place in Bull Bay. Very hot these days. Things have been heating up in that community. And for him to, to be caught into this situation, believe you me, as an entertainer, these persons should be disassociating themselves from this type of lifestyle. But instead, they are well into, some of them are well into this lifestyle. Not all entertainers are like this, but especially the upcoming ones, they are riddled with persons who are around them who are involved in criminal activities. He is also to surrender his travel documents. And the court also imposed a stop order on all ports for him. The police report that on January 28th, while on patrol in 8 Miles Bull Bay, St. Andrew, McFarlane was reportedly seen acting in a suspicious manner. Police reportedly questioned the artist and following of his car, a Taurus .380 pistol with 12 rounds of ammunition was found. Ritical reportedly told the police that the weapon was a prop for a music video. He was taken into custody and later charged. So we see, again, as I said, Vibes Cartel, Laden, we see Tommy Lee now joining them, Ninja Man there. So it seems as if they are lining up to have a dance hall session in the penal institution. But, as I said, these persons should be dealt with heavily based on their source of influence and the crowd they draw and how they can inoculate youngsters. Instead of being an example, these persons consistently use their influence to be of negative importance to the younger generation. But let me know what you think in the comment section. That's it for my opinion for another morning. On behalf of all the persons who made it possible, we keep saying, be safe, look out for the children, look out for a loved one, look out for a neighbor, and most of all, keep it locked on My Opinion TV.